So what is jute and what can it be used for? Well, jute is a vegetable fibre, but the plant that jute is grown from are actually several different species of the genus Cocorus, which are often referred to as jute. So jute is both the fibre and the plant grown to create the fibre. Most of the jute around the world is grown in India and Bangladesh, in and around the Ganges Delta. Jute needs warm, humid and wet conditions to grow in, and the Ganges Delta provide these. Jute doesn't require any specialised fertiliser, though if the soil has been depleted it may be supplemented with manure. Again, the Ganges Delta is ideal for this cultivation. Just before jute is harvested, it slightly resembles bamboo, only with thinner and shorter stalks, with jute normally growing to around about three metres in height. Once harvested, the stalks need to be soaked in water by submerging them in the local river water, then dried. This process enables the useful fibres in the outer part of the jute to be extracted. Since jute doesn't require extra watering, artificial fertiliser or other intensive farming methods, it's considered to be a sustainable material and one that absorbs carbon. The jute fibres are considerably rougher than the fibres in plants like cotton, so they're generally unsuitable making clothing unless blended with other fibres and heavily treated. However, the fibres from jute are quite strong and relatively cheap to produce. And they're used in a wide variety of products and probably have used without knowing where they actually came from. Now, one of the common uses is making hessian fabrics, sometimes called burlap. This fabric is commonly used to make sacks for carrying anything from coffee beans to potatoes. The sacks are strong enough to transport the heaviest of articles and yet allow the contents to breathe. Hessian is also used in making sandbags for emergency flood defences or the durable bags to carry your shopping in. Jute also has good thermal insulation properties so wrapping items in hessian can protect from both frost or excessive heat. It's especially useful in gardening or landscaping. Since jute is a natural fibre, it will naturally biodegrade over time. One of the more unusual uses for jute is in the external parts of camouflage gear, like a ghillie suit. Jute can also be made into cord or rope, which in turn can be made into anything from rugs and floor matting to hammocks. However, some of the more unusual uses of jute can be in paper, cosmetics and paint. With the pressure growing on the planet's resources, it's likely that more uses will be found for useful material with jute.